recovering. And we stand here united on World Environment Day with all of those that are wishing to protect the water for future generations. And you know, many people are totally unaware of why we are here. I've taken a day of work to be here because I care about the environment for my grandchildren, and I'm sure you all feel the same. And when you see children in the Amazon covered in skin lesions from what has happened from swimming in the rivers contaminated by the oil industry, if you went to Nigeria and spoke to the families in Nigeria and saw how sick they are as well, if you go to Standing Rock and the indigenous people that are worried about their land, we're doing exactly the same here. There are 122 pages of chemicals they want to pump down this well here. They want to acidize it. Top geologists have written saying 100,000 people's water at Harden Pulbra could potentially be at risk. Do we stand by when 100,000 homes' is water is at risk? No, we don't. No! And no. when we contact Southern Water, they say that they don't know anything about it. And the Environment Agency are not working with Southern Water. And the local people that live around this area have never been told. So, you know, there's a total cover-up. The local people have got no idea what's going on that the river could potentially be contaminated, that what is the rapid response plan if this blows? If one of these HGVs that are carrying acid, chemicals, and at times radioactive substances, if any of those spill, maybe you can tell me what is your rapid response plan? Could you tell me, please? I have no idea what the rapid response plan is. Could you tell me what the rapid response plan is? Can you tell me what the rapid response plan is? So it doesn't make us feel very confident no. that if something should happen, God forbid, nobody actually knows what the fuck to do. <laughs> so of course, some of us have to make a little bit of a song and dance to raise the issue that accidents do happen. And if accidents do happen, best we're prepared oh, for them. There's been 1,700 and something incidents in the last two years in this industry. So we have many, many reported incidents and it will only be time before there is an incident here. So we all need to know what to do when carbon monoxide levels are too high. We all need to know what happens if there's an HGV spillage on this road, what do we do? So far, nobody has been able to tell us what is your emergency plan. For this reason, we have no choice but to raise the awareness that something serious is going on. Because the officers here can't tell me what the emergency response plan is. So, Somebody, somewhere, has to speak up and say, this is madness what is happening. A hundred thousand homes are potentially at risk because right under this well are faults. This land is porous by nature. Geologically, it is chalk and it is sand. Therefore, the faults here lead to the aquifers. And those aquifers lead to the River Arran, the Wild Brooks, which is an internationally important wetland, if anybody loves birds, and the water goes to Southern Waters Centre at Hardham. And these are all the risks that we need to be very aware of. So just giving you a little download, anybody that didn't know the story. And um, out of the 122 pages of chemicals, many of them say carcinogenic, fatal to aquatic life. Do not allow spillages to enter waterways. Hazardous, untested, hazardous, carcinogenic, fatal to aquatic wildlife. That's what it reads on the chemicals that UK oil and gas want to put down this well. So do we roll over and say, yes, just put them untested chemicals down this well? Because actually we're not worried. Well, some people need to be worried. 
And some people need to be the fish that swim against the river and stand up for what is fair and just and right. And that is that the future generations have a fair, clean planet to live on. So that is why water protectors all around the world realize that you cannot buy water. How do we need oil over water? Because if anybody is still under that illusion that oil is more important than water, they're kidding themselves. 